Well, hello everyone, and I'd like to welcome you all to Becky and Tony's wedding day celebrations. And I really hope that you will all enjoy this very special day with us. I will also wish to congratulate the bride and groom on becoming husband and wife. And I welcome Tony and his family to my family. Ladies and gentlemen, entering into marriage is a very personal decision and a large part of its importance is its public recognition by others. So can I ask you, Joy, on behalf of friends, family and loved ones here today, do you give your beautiful daughter's hand in marriage to Anthony? Yes. That's, the right, <laughs> that's the right answer. <laughs> Would you like to take a seat, Joy? I'm sure that most of you will understand the reason I'm giving this speech today. Um, Becky's father, Michael, is sadly no longer with us. But I, I think if Michael's looking down today at Becky, he would say something like, you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that was dad speak for you look beautiful. <laughs> and Becky, you do look beautiful. Love you too. Now, what can I say about Becky? I'm sure you all want to eat, so I won't keep it. Those of you who know me know how painfully shy I am, so Please bear with me. This isn't going to go on for long, all right? There's just a, just a few words. Uh, my wife and I <laughs> would like to thank you all so much for being with us today. We know what an effort you've all made, and we are truly grateful. This is our special day, but it's been made a hundred times more special by you all being with us. family and friends, Anthony and Rebecca have chosen to make their vows to one another. So I ask you both now in the presence of your loved ones, Anthony, do you promise to love, honour and respect Rebecca, remaining true to her throughout your lives together? I do. And Rebecca, do you promise to love, honour and respect Anthony, remaining true to him throughout your lives together? I do. I'd like to say a personal thank you to Joy. Thank you for bringing up a wonderful young lady who is now my wife. And thank you for welcoming me into your family from day two. Day one was a bit ropey, but that's it. <laughs> we, we'll forget that. make sure I've got the right people here today. Anthony, could I have your full name, please? Anthony Edward Munro Flynn. And Rebecca, your full name, please. Rebecca Louise Butler. I think this is slightly more impressive. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm James, and I've had the, uh, the, the honour of being Tony's best man. Sorry, um, Anthony Edward Munro Flynn's best man. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd like, I'd like to start by saying it's always a pleasure to be invited to one of Tony's weddings. Uh, <laughs> as best man, um, it's, uh, it's my job uh, to give Tony the most uncomfortable five minutes of his life. But for the record, uh, the most uncomfortable five minutes of Becky's life will come later on courtesy of Tony. <laughs> what, are you going to do it twice? <laughs>
Jackie, you look beautiful. You've won in a million. As opposed to Tony, who looks like he was won in a raffle. <laughs> Just one area where we're not quite so compatible. Not, no, not that. No, Fred. I think most of you here know that I'm a Chelsea fan. Okay, yeah? Becky. Becky, can I just ask you, in front of all our guests, who is your least favourite footballer? In fact, can I put it another way? Which is the footballer that you detest the most? John Terry. John Terry. Oh, it's a bit, aw bit awkward, a bit awkward because we have one special guest. He couldn't make the ceremony, but he, but he is here now and he will be with us for the rest of the night. And I tell you what, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> he will be available for the rest of the night for photos. <laughs> Becky, you can, you can say sorry to him personally. <laughs>
His acting ability uh, was on show in all its glory one evening in Camberley. We had gone to watch the darts at the lakeside. It was the night that a new star of darts was born. And this star, of course, was Tony Flynn. <laughs> during, during an autograph signing session to the side of the stage, Tony stood up and told me, do what I tell you to do. All right, of course. He, he made his way to the autograph area, handed me a pen, pen and a program, and said, uh, walk over and ask me for my autograph. I was like, what's going on here? At this point, I didn't know what was going on, but once he had signed my program, I turned round to see 10 excited young Welsh women stood behind me in a queue, wanting the autograph from the self-named Tony the Tun. <laughs> His performance here, you know, it warranted an Oscar. Um, it was truly memorable, it <laughs> really was. I don't think I've ever laughed so hard uh, until, we, until we went next door and I actually witnessed Tony, Tony the Tun play darts. No, in all honesty, Tony, you're a great friend, and I, and I mean this absolutely sincerely, that I really look forward to our families spending many, many happy times together over the years, maybe some caravanning or whatever it may be. I wish you every happiness. So, um, you'll be pleased to know that I'm going to shut up any second, so um, it gives me now immense pleasure, maybe a little bit of relief, um, to uh, ask you all to stand, please. And, uh, <laughs> And raise your glasses to Tony and back to Mr. and Mrs. Flynn. Thank you. Anthony and Rebecca, today you have exchanged vows which have united you as husband and wife in the presence of your loved ones your family and also your witnesses. The words that you have said to each other are a formal and a public pledge of your love and a promise of lifelong dedication to each other. May you treasure this trust and responsibility and may you lead rich and very full lives together. It now gives me enormous pleasure to let everyone here know that you are husband and wife and Anthony you may kiss your gorgeous bride. <laughs> now, now, beyond Tony's obvious attributes, um, drinking and watching sports, um, he possesses some really great qualities uh, and is a really fun and caring person. He's always been there for me during some difficult periods of my life, for which I'm truly grateful. I mean that, we're doing a bit of a sincere bit now, right? I'm really grateful for this. These qualities are no doubt um, what attracted Becky to Tony. Uh, and when I set uh, eyes on them together, it was clear that they were made for each other. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen two people so much in love as I did when I saw them together in, in, that, bar, in that bar and bath that time. And beyond the awkwardness of watching them exchange fluids like two randy teenagers all night, <laughs> I could tell that they were a perfect match. <laughs> Seriously, Becky, I'm so proud and happy to be standing here now as your new husband. And you make me so proud. I'm so proud to call myself your husband. You're the most important person in my world, and I love you with all my heart. And you, you looked amazing today. <laughs> right, that's that big ticker. <laughs> a wedding, lovely as it is, and it is lovely, um, 
There is more to a wedding, it's not just one day. Now I've seen at first hand how much Becky and Tony mean to each other. And I know they realise that a marriage is about supporting one another through good times and times that aren't quite as easy. And we all know that sometimes life does become a little bit difficult. But being prepared to say sorry, and most importantly to love and cherish each other, is so important in a marriage. So, I wish you both a long and happy marriage, good health, lots of fun, and everything you wish for yourselves. So please everyone, join me as we all raise a glass to toast the bride and groom, Becky and Tony. Becky and Tony.